Hello and welcome back to my channel. It is time for another Inku box. Inku is a Japanese stationary subscription box from the people over at Japan. Now, I started getting this box in... I think I started started getting it in 2020. No, no, it was 2019 when I started getting this box. And this box has always been filled with a lot of great things. But price-wise, I was going to stop getting it due to it's 25 25.95 a month. Plus, right now, due to the pandemic and shipping issues, they had to start shipping out via DHL. But, they've stopped doing that. They actually started shipping airmail with another company, and it ends up in the hands of the U.S. Postal Service and then goes the rest away with them. And they still charge $10.95 for shipping. That is outrageous, especially when it's taking two, two for the box to get to you. Now you may be saying, oh, you know what, well, you know, that's, that's what the shipping was like beforehand. But that was included in the price of the box. So $25.95, you got the shipping included into the box. Now it's $10.95 for the same shipping method as beforehand. I don't like that. So yeah, I have gone ahead and canceled this because when it was $10.95 with DHL shipping, that was a little bit more tolerable because you were getting insurance, you were getting a tracking number, and you got the package within a week of it shipping out. Now it's ending up in the hands and given how the U.S. Postal Service has been these days, yeah, you'll be lucky if you ever see your package. So, yeah, this will be the final box until things clear up shipping-wise. So let's go ahead. about a week of it being charged. This time, it did not ship out until the 22nd of December. And, yeah, I had to actually email them, and I never got a response in regards to when it was shipping out. So, yeah. Customer service has now gone downhill, and... Sorry. And so, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pull out the first item that I'm seeing here. Okay, the first item up is a plastic clear folder from Amifa and it looks like it is a Zodiac folder. So we have the tiger, the bunny, the K 
cow, the dog, the horse. I think this is supposed to be the seahorse, the rat, the snake, the boar, and the chicken. So this is really cute. I do like these. These come in very handy. Unfortunately, due to the size of the box, just like with Yumi Twins and you get these, they do end up being folded. But you just put it in a stack of heavy books and it will flatten right back. So... Great start. And now I'll go ahead and grab this. Wow, there is a ton of stuff. So up next we do have... Okay, this is from Alice in Wonderland. This is Alice in Wonderland themed. It is Fairy Tale Eraser. Don't worry about your mistakes with these erasers, cutely designed in fairy tale theme. And it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it. Sorry, I didn't realize you guys were so high. Sorry about that. Here's the item. So this one is Alice in Wonderland themed. So that is really cute, and I'm looking at the picture, it's not so much Okay, it's not so themed, because it looks like the picture they have in here it looks like it is supposed to be the Little Mermaid. So that's actually quite cute. So, and I do love... And there is very little, very few items that are Alice in Wonderland fate. So, perfect. Up next, we have a foodie color marker. Practice your ink drawings and calligraphy with these markers. Zebra's sharing a zebra's new marker tip. Technology more detailed and easier than a brush pen. So this will be really interesting to use. So it's a brush more kind of like more of a brush pen than a regular marker tip. I'm actually curious as to what it looks like. Okay, so it's just a very fine tip marker. So, very cool. I will go ahead and put this to good use. And it looks like you probably would have gotten one of a multitude of colors because the and I have a green marker. Kind of wish I would have gotten a purple, but oh well. Since you marker. Okay, so this is a scented marker. So you could either receive melon soda or honey toast. It looks like I have the honey toast. Very cool. Can't give this a try. Ooh. Ooh, this actually smells pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let's Okay, so it is only one-sided. I thought it would be 
two-sided because it kind of looks like it would be two-sided because it looks like the side actually comes off too. Oh, it does. Okay, so the other side is more bready. And this side is more of a honey scent. So, very cool. Okay, up next, we do have a glue stick. And it is laundry bottle glue. So, it's for me shape. So, yes, it is a glue stick. So, I will actually go ahead and use this to seal up envelopes. Very helpful, especially during the pandemic. I wish, I wish I would have had this for December because I did do Christmas cards, so that would have helped a lot. Okay, up next we have a lucky sticky notes, and this is just the the lucky cat. So very cute. Mm -hmm. 70 in here. So very useful. Trish traditional Japanese stickers. Now it by by Japanese traditional Japanese stickers, it is just traditional Japanese items. Such as the lucky cat. I am sorry, I do have a fan going, so that is moving the sticker set. So we do have Mount have Mount Fuji, the three monkeys, a Toro gate for a my brain just went dead for a temple and other great items. I do love it when they include stickers. Okay, and it looks like this is this is this is the last item in here. And I have gotten quite a few of these, but I don't mind because they're all different themed. So it is a Hello Kitty Cow notebook. And you may be thinking, you know what's so great about a notebook? It's just the fact that it would be something new. made as a souvenir because it is front to back versus in a traditional notebook in Japan. So, might be different for notebooks. I don't know. So, yeah. That is everything in the box for this month. And they did go with the theme of... Shipping charge that's now irking me, especially since now they're not even using DHL. We're still using DHL for their shipping. I would say it is worth it 
but for right now, I'm going to say uh, it depends upon whether or not you really want to get the state. So, yeah, just simply because of the fact that it has gone up so much with the shipping. So here is the inside of the booklet. There is the that marker. And as I said, I think this kind of looks like the Little Mermaid or it looks like Tinkerbell. I don't know. <laughs> So there you go. So not much in here was different from one box to the next. I am glad I got the unicorn glue bottle rather than the Gudetama because I'm not really a Gudetama fan. So yeah, for right now this is the last box from Inku I will be getting until things get better with the with shipping so yeah until next time please remember to wear a mask to protect yourself and others don't forget to wash those hands and don't forget to keep right on reading bye bye